Hi guys, it's Charlie and welcome to Friday Fright Nights episode 2. So today I thought I'd tell a story that um, I found a little while ago and <clears throat> this one holds um, quite a significance to me because I don't like dolls and I remember when I was younger and my nan she used to collect um, dolls, like the old fashioned, like little girl kind of dolls. And um, they used to really like properly freak me out. If I ever went to stay at my nan's, I would have to say, can you like move the dolls and put them somewhere else? And I'm really worried that torch is shining right on oh, no, it's not. Um, and I would always say to her, you need to move them somewhere because I can't stay in the room where they are. And this particular story is about, this is meant to be a true story about a doll called Robert. Um, and when I found this, I just, I just kind of thought, oh my God, like that really creeps me out because I don't like dolls. And I know, I know a lot of other people that don't like dolls as well. Um, so yes, I'm going to get straight on in with telling this story. I hope that's okay there. Okay, so here goes. Take a look at Robert, the haunted doll. He sits under lock and key in a glass case located in the basement of a museum in Florida. At first glance, Robert may seem like a harmless children's doll, but looks can be deceiving because Robert is the most haunted doll in the world. In 1987, in 1897, a family named Otto lived in a nearby house in Key West. They owned a plantation and had lots of servants working for them, who they treated very badly. One servant girl gave their son Jeannie a present of a doll. What the Ottos didn't realise was that the servant girl knew voodoo. Jean's full name was Robert Eugenie Otto. His parents had always called him Jeannie, so he decided to give the doll his real name. Robert. Many strange things began to occur in the Otto household. Many neighbours claimed to see Robert move about from window to window when the family were out. Jeannie began to blame Robert for mishaps that would occur. The Ottos claimed to hear the doll giggle and swear they caught glimpses of the doll running about the house. Jeannie began to have nightmares and scream out in the night when his parents would enter the room they would find furniture overturned, their child in a fright, and Robert at the foot of the bed with his glaring gaze. Robert did it. The doll was eventually put up into the attic, where he resided for many years. But Robert had other plans. Visitors that entered the house could hear something walking back and forth in the attic, and strange giggling sounds. Guests no longer wanted to visit the Otto home. Jeannie Otto died in 1972. The home was sold to a new family and the tale of Robert had died down. But Robert waited patiently up in the attic to be discovered. The ten-year-old daughter of the new owners was quick to find Robert in the attic. It was not long before Robert unleashed his displeasure on this child. The little girl claiming that the doll had tortured her and made her life a hell. Even after more than 30 years, she steadfastly claims that the doll was alive and wanted to kill her. Robert, still dressed in his white sailor suit and clutching his stuffed lion, lives quite comfortably, though well guarded, at the Key West Martello Museum. Employees, employees at the museum continue to give accounts of Robert being up to his old tricks still today. So... That's the story of Robert the doll. So if you have dolls, be careful that they are not voodoo. Thanks for watching, guys. Good night.